Hi dear friends, I am Dr. Mohsina from Curious Vet. In the last video, we discussed about a hereditary condition in falls that was over white lethal syndrome. Today, we will discuss about another important hereditary condition in falls. So, let's begin today's topic, Lavender Fall Syndrome. Lavender Fall Syndrome, also known as Coat Color Dilution Lethal Syndrome, is actually a neurological dysfunction in newborn falls. A fatal autosomal recessive condition of, of Arabian horses and is often associated with those that have Egyptian bloodlines. Affected foals are unable to stand or nurse properly due to neurological impairments and they are born with a characteristic lavender coat color. That's why the name of the disease is lavender fall syndrome. But the coat color can actually range from pale gray to light chestnut. Actually, what is happening in lavender fall syndrome? A mutation in the myosin 5A or myo 5A gene has been shown to cause lavender fall syndrome and a DNA test is available to rule out the disease. Now let's see the clinical signs of lavender fall syndrome. Clinical signs include seizures, severe hyperextension of limbs, neck and back, commonly known as opisthotonus, and involuntary eye movements or nystagmus. Affected foals will exhibit stiff, paddling leg movements and an inability to stand or sit upright. They are typically born with a characteristic dilute coat color often described as lavender, pale pink or silver. Now let's see the diagnosis of lavender fall syndrome. Many clinical parameters such as blood work appear normal in LFS affected falls and x-rays may be taken to rule out skull abnormalities or injuries that could be responsible for other neurological signs. The combined characteristic coat color, severe neurological defects and poor response to therapy can be used to rule out other conditions. But the definitive test for LFS is DNA test. And about the treatment, pharmaceutical intervention and supportive care can provide temporary relief by controlling seizures in some cases, but the condition is ultimately untreatable. And the prognosis of LFS is grave. Affected foals usually die soon or are euthanized shortly after birth. So as there is no treatment, we can just prevent the disease. How to prevent lavender fall syndrome? Breeders and donors can utilize the available DNA test to avoid producing affected offspring. Breeding a LFS carrier to another LFS carrier has a 25% chance of producing an affected fall and 50% chance of producing an another LFS carrier. So here you can see there is a crossing between two carriers. So carriers of recessive allele have no symptoms of the disease. If two carriers are bred, each fall has a 25% of chance of having two copies of normal allele and a 50% chance of being a carrier and 25% chance of being affected. Here if a carrier is uh, bred to a normal host, each foal has a 50% chance of having two copies of normal alleles and a 50% chance of being a carrier. So this is a crossing between a normal host and a carrier one.
the arabian horse association code of ethics requires disclosure of known carrier status of lfs if known for any horse capable of reproducing that is being offered for breeding sale or lease the owners of a mare that produces an affected foal are required to notify the stallion owner immediately so finally let's see the uh, key points once again lavender foal syndrome is a neurological dysfunction and the disease is named for the characteristic coat color of affected foals and is often associated with egyptian arabians affected foals suffer from seizures and they cannot stand to nurse and the disease is caused by autosomal recessive mode of inheritance and causative mutation in the myo5a gene and a dna test is available to rule out the disease supportive care can ease clinical signs but lfs is ultimately untreatable and foals die or are euthanized so the definitive test for lfs is dna test and it is uh, usually seen in arabian horses with an egyptian bloodline and the cause of the disease is a mutation in the myosin 5a gene the clinical signs are seizures opisthotonus and involuntary movements or nystagmus so that's all about lavender foal syndrome or color dilution coat color dilution lethal syndrome if the video is informative and useful please like it and share it with your friends comment your suggestions if you are new to this channel or not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video see you soon with another video